Hey guys, so I wanted to give another update on my design progress of my foldable electric longboard. As you can tell, I'm experimenting with multiple design ideas, but they all have a general theme, and that is that these rods will span the middle of the board. Uh, the rods obviously need to support all my weight, so after I did some calculations to see what thickness and material I would need, I ordered two carbon fiber rods, and I actually got them in the mail today. Uh, so here's a video of me testing them out. So I've got my two carbon fiber rods here as you can see. They're both half inch in diameter. And they're carbon fiber protruded rods. And I'm about to stand on them to test out their uh, strengths. So I did my calculations and apparently these things are supposed to hold my weight uh, with just one of them if I put my weight in the middle. So I'm going to try two first and then we'll try one. So now that I know that the carbon fiber rods will support my weight safely, I have to try to figure out what the best way would be to fill in the gigantic hole that the longboard has in the middle. Uh, and they all involve some sort of collapsible panel, uh, all these different designs. Now there's all sorts of variables that I have to consider, like simplicity and still being able to ride the board when it's folded. But the biggest problem here is trying to figure out the best way to cover the hole so you can still stand on it while not compromising space uh, once the longboard is folded in its smallest form. And doing all that in a simple way. Because that's really the whole idea here is trying to make it smaller so that it's easier to transport. Uh, the other problem is routing cables and wires from one end to the other. Because remember, this is an electric longboard. So that means I'm going to need wires that span from the battery, which is in the front, to the motor in the back, and also to the ESC. So let's start with the first problem, which is covering this big hole in the middle. The first idea I had was to use a panel that slides in and out of the longboard. This one's good because it keeps the general shape of the board, but it also leaves these big slots in the board, which means the board would, have, would be uneven. Uh, now I have thought about making a rectangular hole in the board so that the panel can slide in and out without compromising the top of the board and therefore keeping the top of the board flat like a normal longboard. Um, but unfortunately this would not only be really hard to make but it would also be pretty easy to, to break and damage because the rider's weight is going to be planted on top of a big rectangular hole that's inside of the longboard itself. The next idea I had was to use a folding panel that is split into four parts. Now as you can see, the panel folds pretty easily, but it takes up more space than the previous one since now you have this big thing poking out of the top. Uh, it would be fairly easy to make, but I'm not a huge fan of how it takes up more space once it's folded. Uh, I've thought about trying to make it fold down instead of up, but the problem is that the panels wouldn't rest on the rods if it folded down, because the panels would have to be smaller to fit through the rods, and therefore it wouldn't rest on the rods when it's open to its biggest form. So then the panels wouldn't end up being flimsy and flexible when you stand in the middle, which I obviously wouldn't want. Now the one on top is probably the simplest, since it's just a hinge and a panel that folds in, after the board is opened and can fold the opposite way once the board is closed. Now really the only problem I see with this is that the panel is kind of awkward and big and it's also not very elegant like the other ones are. Now I'm sure there are solutions to these problems but in the end I will most likely be compromising one aspect or functionality so that I can take advantage of a better one. But if anybody has any better ideas or feedback on this let me know and I would really appreciate that. Now the other problem, which isn't nearly as big or dramatic, is routing cables from one end to the other. Now obviously this is going to depend on the board design I choose in the end, but I have some ideas on what I could do. The first is to use a third or fourth rod that's hollow, so that I can pass wires through the poles. Uh, the real problem with this idea though is that the wires would most likely be loose and outside the board once it's folded, but otherwise it should be okay. The second is to route wires to the board itself, kind of like the boosted board does in its bamboo deck. For instance, with this board in the middle here, I would route wires inside of the panels that fold. And I like this idea since it means that I have less moving parts and it's going to be more visually appealing than having a third or fourth pole uh, to route wires through. Uh, with the bottom board here, I still really don't know how I would route power with this entire sliding panel, but I could use hollow rods like I showed before. 
Now with all that said, I'm pretty sure I figured out how I will secure the board once it's folded and opened. Uh, as you can see, there is a clamp here, and the clamp is the same thing as a bike seat clamp, which is what bike seats use to adjust the seat height. Uh, this should be fairly safe to use since it stops the rods from rotating uh, and torquing the whole board when the board is twisted. Unfortunately, I can't find any clamps for half inch diameter rods online, so I might have to 3D print or make one myself, which shouldn't be too bad. Uh, now the green parts here and the purple rods uh, are going to be hard points in the carbon fiber. The purple rods are going to be made out of aluminum, and the green parts will most likely be 3D printed. Um, now and then all the rest, which is gray, is just going to be foam, and that's really how carbon fiber works: is by using a carbon fiber on the outside and then foam in the middle, and then all of the 3D printed parts and the aluminum will be wrapped in carbon fiber eventually. So that's all I have for you right now, but again, if anybody has any ideas, no matter how crazy or weird, don't hesitate to let me know. Okay, peace and thanks for watching.